Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a Gemini Jet Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 in their current revised livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, Please allow me to share you some information about the history of Lufthansa and how they actually came about. Lufthansa actually traces its history beginnings back to 1926 when Deutsche Lufthansa AG was first formed in Berlin, Germany. DLH, as it was known for short, was actually the major flag carrier airline of Germany until 1945 when all services were suspended following the defeat of Germany in World War II. Then fast forward eight years later to January 6, 1953, in an effort to create a new national airline, a company called Lufttag was founded in Cologne, Germany. Then on August 6, 1954, Lufttag acquired the name and the logo of the liquidated Doacha Lufthansa for 30,000 Deutschmarks, thus continuing the tradition of a German flag carrier of that name, which is mostly recognized today as Lufthansa as the airline commenced operation shortly thereafter on April 1st, 1955. The name of the company, Lufthansa, is derived from the word Luft, which is the German word for air, and Hansa, which is the Latin term meaning guild, which is most commonly used historically in reference to the Hanseatic League, whereas the headquarters of Lufthansa is located in Dieutz, which is an inner city sectional part of Cologne, Germany, while the carrier's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport, which is located approximately 7.5 miles southwest of the Central District section of Frankfurt, Germany, which is located in the Frankfurt suburb of Kelsterbach. Lufthansa also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Munich Airport, which is located approximately 17.7 .7 miles northeast of Munich, Germany, near the city of Friesen, Bavaria, Germany. Lufthansa is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany, as well as the second largest operating airline in Europe at the Rhine Air, that's based in terms of fleet size and passengers carry, as Lufthansa currently flies to 220 destinations in 81 countries across Africa, North and South America, Asia, and Europe, with an operating fleet of 284 aircraft, which includes 17 Airbus A340-300s, including this one you're looking at here, with no unfulfilled orders pending on this particular aircraft type as of May 2022 or at the time of this video review posting. Also as of May 2022 or at the time of this video review posting, Lufthansa is one of 11 airlines in the world of aviation, along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda, Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Japan Airlines, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Korean Air, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, and Singapore Airlines, based out of Singapore, to hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Airbus destination code for Lufthansa for this particular aircraft is 11. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box, and what you see is the top of it is the gray blue Gemini 200 decal, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the registration ship number, the airline's logo, the Lufthansa billboard title, the 1200 scale diecast model aircraft information, as well as the item number information at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you see is the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the Gemini 200 blue decal. Some more information you see there, the Lufthansa official license product decal, as well as the airline's logo, as well as their social media pages of Gemini Jets. You can pause and read that if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the adult collectible model and warning information, as well as the item number information you see at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box and all you see is pretty much the Gemini 200 blue uh, engraved decal. 
Now you're looking at the left side of the box, and what you see is the engraved blue Gemini 200 decal, the 1200 scale diecast model and item number inf information, the aircraft type, the registration ship number, as well as the computer generated picture of the aircraft here on the left side of the box. All right, now you're looking at the uh, right side of the box. It's pretty much the same information of the left side of the box I just showed you earlier on. All right, now you're looking at this nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. And on top of here, you see that black pattern there, folks. The sole purpose of that black pattern, everyone, is not only it protects your model, it also prevents it from being damaged or scratched when you decide you want to put your aircraft model on this particular model stand. All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag here. And what you see in this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model that features the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of the thons and how they actually came about, plus all the details here at the front of the box, plus the information at the back of the box, plus the uh, model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors and the two little toothpicks inside that plastic bag there. With no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging. Let's check it out. There it is, the Gemini Jets Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 in their current revised livery scheme in a 1200 scale model. All right, allow me to share some information about this livery scheme you see displayed on this aircraft. And this is the current revised livery scheme of Lufthansa, which is called the Lufthansa Blue Livery Scheme, which was officially unveiled at a special unveiling ceremony that was held at Lufthansa's Aviation Center facility, which is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport in Frankfurt, Germany, on February 8, 2018. And the first aircraft that began sporting this livery scheme was a Boeing 747-8I intercontinental jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number D-ABY. As the fuselage of the aircraft actually remained your white, whereas the long blue arc part of the tail now extends down underneath the rear of the fuselage. The Lufthansa logo, which is actually displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, is also similar to the previous logo that features the enriched stylized crane that's flying inside the circle that was previously painted in yellow, has since been replaced and painted with the color of silver as part of a greater rebranded effort on the behalf of the German-based carrier Lufthansa to distinguish itself as a premium-based airline, as Lufthansa expects to have its entire fleet painted in this livery scheme by the end of 2025. The Lufthansa Blue updated revised livery scheme was created and designed by Ronald Wilde, who is, by the way, the corporate design manager for Lufthansa. So, with all that information out of the way about this livery scheme you see displayed on here, with no further ado, let us get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side where we're going to start at the front of the aircraft. We're going to start at the front nose landing gears right here, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on that nose gear door, FD. You see the pitted tubes and the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review, so please stay tuned for that part. But now underneath the uh, cockpit windows is the Lufthansa logo that's displayed underneath the cockpit windows, which is this decal you see right here. And this is the emblem of Lufthansa's logo, which was designed by the late German architect and graphic designer Otto Furley in 1918 as it symbolizes an enriched stylized crane in flight. As the emblem was adopted by Do Acha Lufthansa in 1926 and has been the airline's official logo ever since. As this logo can also be visibly seen on the tail fin of the aircraft. I'm going to show you that right now. There it is. It's actually silver. They got it here in white, but it's actually silver on the real aircraft, as you can see there. All right, we're back at the front of the aircraft. And right between the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door is the Star Alliance decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And the Thons joined the Star Alliance along with Air Canada, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, 
and United Airlines as one of the five founding members on May 14, 1997, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then right on the right side of the uh, L1 and L2 doors right here is the yellow decal right there and there. And what's inside that yellow decal is the Lothanzo logo as well as the world, the words, sorry about that, the words, Wake home, which is inscripted in the German language, which actually means welcome, which is also inscripted in the English language that's displayed inside this yellow decal, as you can see there. All right. All right, we stay at the uh, front of the aircraft where you see the Lufthansa billboard title right there. And right below the uh, business class window is the Airbus A340-300 decal. You see that right there. Lufthansa actually became the second airline operator in the world of aviation after launch customer Air France officially that acquired this particular aircraft type as the German-based carrier took delivery of its very first Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number D-AIGB on November 30, 1993, and took delivery of their very last Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number D-AIFF on December 21, 2001. Lufthansa at one time registered and operated as many as 62 Airbus A340s in their fleet, in which 31 of those were the Airbus A340-300s. And now as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, there are only 17 Airbus A340-300s that actually remain operating in the carrier's fleet. As Lufthansa is currently the world's largest airline operator of this aircraft variant type, as the German-based carrier will officially begin phasing out their entire fleet of Airbus A340-300 from its fleet altogether starting in 2022, as this particular aircraft will eventually be replaced with their Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, as well as their forthcoming Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner aircraft which is scheduled to enter Lufthansa's fleet sometime in the second quarter of 2022. All right, we stay at the front of the aircraft. Right below the Airbus A340-300 decal is the aircraft name, Geisen, which is this name right here. And this particular aircraft is named after this historic ancient city, which is actually called Geisen which was founded in 1152, but wasn't officially referred to as Geisen until 1197, as this city is also home to the University of Geisen, as this historic ancient city is located approximately 31 miles north of Frankfurt, Germany. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft, and right there you see the landing bogey gears you see there. But more importantly, you see these nice-looking massive engines right there and right there. And these are the CFMI-CFM56-5C4 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft. Now I'm going to turn this uh, aircraft model around. We're going to actually find out if the turbofan blades do spin. Let's check it out and find out. All right, now looking at the front of the engines here on the port side's left side, we're going to start at the outer engine turbo fan blades i know this one's probably stuck that one that was the only one i had problems with but the rest of them spin pretty good we're going to talk the inner one right here so far so good on that one and then you slide over this way the inboard landing light is right underneath the wing right there as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears including the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors all right now you're looking at the in front of the engines uh, on the starboard side and we're gonna see if the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Let's check it out Perfect a little challenge there, but it's there you go Yeah, they spin a little bit it's a little challenging though, but it's all good And then you see the inboard landing light you see underneath the wing right here as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears Which includes the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radar nose cone, the nose gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the nose gear door, the landing gear struts, as well as the front view of the front nose landing gears. All right. 
All right, now you're looking at the winglet wingtip device on the port side of the aircraft featuring the red navigation light you see displayed there. All right, now you got a better visual view of the outer landing bogey gears as well as the center bogey gear as well. See the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear door. And then there's the center bogey gear right there as well as well as the landing gear struts. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the uh, port slash left side. And right by the uh, German flag decal is the actual registration ship number D-AIFD, which is the registration ship number you see right there. Registration ship number D-AIFD. This aircraft was actually the 26 Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on February 8, 2001 and was delivered to Lufthansa on March 16, 2001. This particular aircraft was also the very first Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft that was actually painted in this livery scheme. Okay. Okay, we're still at the back of the aircraft, and right next to the registration ship number is the actual flag, German flag decal, which is this decal you see displayed here. And this flag decal represents the country where the Thansa currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Germany. And then you see the European flag decal next to the German flag decal, which is this little flag decal you see there. And that flag decal represents the ideals of unity, solidarity, and harmony among the peoples of Europe. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft. You see the nice little uh, tail fin painting in Lufthansa blue right here, as well as the airline's logo. On this model, it's white, but on the actual uh, aircraft, the real aircraft, it's painted in silver, okay? Now what you're looking at, is the APU, which literally stands auxiliary power unit exhaust hole, and there is a hole there. Right there. And then there's the strobe light right there, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone. The Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 in their 2019 Lufthansa Blue livery scheme from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side. We're going to start here at the front. The front knows landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number, FD. See the pitted tube and static ports, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the airline's Lufthansa logo, the Starline's decal, the Lufthansa billboard title, the Airbus A340-300 decal, the name of the aircraft, Geisen as well as the front cargo container loading door. All right, we're at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side. And what you're looking at on this side here is the CFMI-CFM56-5C4 turbofan type engine on here, as well as the uh, gears right there. Now you're looking at the wingtip device on this side of the aircraft, as well as the green navigation light that sits next to this winglet wingtip device. All right, now you got a better visual view of the outer landing bogey gears here on the side of this aircraft, including the landing gear struts and the, as well as the landing gear doors. And then there's the center uh, bogey gear there as well. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you see is the rear cargo container loading door right here, the AFT boatman door, the registration ship number, the German flag decal, the European uh, Union flag decal, as well as the airline's logo uh, is painted in white, which is actually silver, and the Lufthansa blue is painted on the tail fin of the aircraft. Let's check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right, before I show you this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. So let's check them out. Rolls pretty good. So far, so good. The gears tilt. And the front nose gear swivels as well as you see there, there, and there. So with no further ado, let's check out this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. All right. 
Now you're looking at this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the star lines decal on both sides. You see the Lathansa title on both sides. Then you up to the top of the aircraft is the antenna, a high frequency antenna, the air clear and beacon lights, the Wi Fi box antenna, another uh, anti collision beacon light, ADF, and, ADF antennas in 3D, the satellite communications antenna, another high frequency antenna, another high frequency antenna, as well as the vertical stabilizer known as the tail, as well as the horizontal stabilizers right there as well. Now let's check out the engines and the wings. There's the engine right there, there, as well as the uh, wings up here. No warning information, but you got the flaps, slats, Edel rod spoilers, what have you. Fuel dump valve right there, as well as the uh, winglet wing tip device you see on this side of the aircraft. Let's check out over here. Engines there, there, as well as the wings um, up here above. No wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. Fuel dump valve. As well as the blended winglet, the winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft from the undercarriage belly view. And you're gonna start at the front there as well. The radar nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, the front nose landing gear door, as well as the front nose landing gear, and then we slide up this way. Cover on high frequency antennas there, the anti collision beacon light, the hole where the model stand goes in at, the center bogey gear you see there, another couple high frequency antennas there, the Gemini Jets decal, another high frequency antenna. Then you get back here, the APU housing door, as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. And let's check out the gears. Uh, a little problem tilting, but it's all right. But you see the engines there and there as well, as well as the wings underneath. It includes the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, as the fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet wing to device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here, the gears over here. A little problem tilting, but it's all right. See the engines there and there as well as the wings underneath, includes the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you, fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet wing to device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the aircraft model from the area of bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail. Now I'm going to put it on that nice little metal model stand you see there that I showed you earlier. So with no further ado everyone, here is the aircraft on the model stand. Let's check it out. Okay, I finally got it on the stand, no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Now I'm going to let you see it rotate in a clockwise rotation, starting with the port side. There you go. Now you're looking at the model from the tail cam angle. Now you're looking at it from the starboard side. Now you're looking at it from the front view angle as well as back to the port side of the aircraft. All right, before I take this model to stand, I got it at this angle for a reason, and the reason is, is the actual magnetic gears actually came with the model. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, let you see what I'm talking about, starting with the front nose gear right here. That's magnetic. The outer bogey gear here on the port side. That's magnetic. The um, outer bogey gear here on the starboard side. That's magnetic there as well. 
as well as the center bogey gear, which is magnetic as well. Did you can see that? Now, since I got all the gears off here, I'm going to let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this model in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears. Now, you got one or two options how you want to display your model. If you want to continue to display it like this without the gears, that's fine. See this key, these uh, gear replacement doors in this plastic bag that I showed you earlier? That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors, so you can substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode position. Or you can do like I do, just keep them in the gear down position. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model out stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review. All right? All right, the seating configuration. Lufthansa has four seating configured cabin layout version that they actually use on their Airbus A340-300s. However, on this particular Lufthansa Airbus A340-300 jetliner aircraft, it seats 279 passengers in a three-class configured cabin layout. All right, everyone, here's the breakdown from rows one to five, which will be from here to right here. You have 30 business class flatbed seats, rows 11 to 14, which will be from about right here to about right there. You have 28 premium economy class seats in row 16 to 46, which will be from about right here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 221 economy class seats, which brings the total 279 seats. And finally, as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Lufthansa currently employs this aircraft. I have previously utilized this particular aircraft, the Airbus A340-300 on routes from Frankfurt, Germany to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Estonia, Kazakhstan, Atlanta, Georgia, Bangkok, Suvarnabhumi, Beijing, Capital, Berlin, Tegel, Bogota, Colombia, Boston, Logan, Massachusetts, Cairo, Egypt, Cancun, Mexico, Caracas, Venezuela, Cape Town, South Africa, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Chennai, India, Chicago, O'Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth, Delhi, India, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Dublin, Ireland, Dusseldorf, Germany, Detroit, Michigan, Freeport, Bahamas, Hong Kong, Houston, Bush, Jakarta, Indonesia via Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia via Jakarta, Indonesia, Lisbon, Portugal, Miami, Florida, Montreal, Canada, Munich, Germany, Nagoya, Japan, Nairobi, Kenya, Nanjing, China, Newark, New Jersey, New York, JFK, Orlando, Florida, Osaka, Kansai, Panama City, Panama, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Portland, Oregon, Qingdao, China, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, San, San Diego, California, San Francisco, California, San Jose, California, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Seoul, Ichion, Shanghai, Pudong, Xinjiang, China, Singapore, Changi, Tampa Bay, Florida, Tel Aviv, Israel, Tokyo, Haneda, Tokyo, Narita, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, sorry about that, Vienna, Austria, and from Munich to Busan, South Korea via Seoul, Ichion, Boston, Logan, Massachusetts, Charlotte, North Carolina, Chicago, O'Hare, Frankfurt, Germany, Los Angeles, California, Nairobi, Kenya, Newark, New Jersey, Shanghai, Pudong, Seoul, Ichion, and Tel Aviv, Israel, and from Dusseldorf, Germany, to Chicago, O'Hare, Frankfurt, Germany, and Miami, Florida. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. This model is still available. A lot of deals still have it. You probably want to snatch it before they start fading out this aircraft. So with that said, this is all I have right now. Please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. And above all, please stay safe out here. Peace.